looks cute, but I don't know if it's gonna look cute on me. I'm being a bit brave, I don't know. I was like, no, they are awful. Like, who the hell would wanna wear them? And then here one is buying them. So clearly me, I am, I'm the person that would wear them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. It is hot. It is hot in here, honestly, like, whew. I've not got any lights on, which I'm so happy about. I'm just filming in natural light, but oh my days, it is warm. Um, so sorry if I look like a, a sweaty mess, it's because I am. As you can tell by the title of this video, guys, we are going to do our monthly ASOS haul. Oh, I feel like I might have missed a month. I might not have, but I feel like I've possibly missed a month of doing an ASOS haul. I hope I haven't, but nevertheless, we are here, picked up some cute bits from ASOS, so before we get into this video, grab yourself a cuppa, I've got myself a nice black coffee, don't think that's really helping in this weather, not gonna lie, but grab yourself a drink and let's just get into this video. I believe this is already up, but if you are wondering where this jumpsuit is from, it's actually from River Island and it's a little bit of the what it's actually from river island and i got it about four years ago but it is still beautiful still love it still pull it out every spring summer it's nice and flowy but um i just put a video up not too long ago which was how to style blacks in spring summer so if you want some inspo and also if you want some and also if you want to see what kind of summer clothes I've got going on already in my wardrobe then I'll link it up in the cards for you to watch. I just picked up a couple of things from ASOS that I that caught my eye really. I've been going through my wardrobe and I've been thinking okay like what do I need this spring summer because we didn't get one last year I feel like I've not really delved into this sort of fashion for a very long time but let's get going. I'm not a colour person. I'm on, honestly I'm not. Colours scare me, so to say that I've got some colour in here is something new, but I thought we would venture out and I saw this top, which I absolutely love, I love this colour. Now I'm very sorry because I'm using natural light, showing bright pieces is just going to F my camera up, so I do apologise, but I will do try on clips for you. Um, so here we are, this is stunning, no? Like the colour of this. And this is very much on trend. Is it like the neon trend and sort of neon pattern trend? I feel like Zara really kicked this off. Like Zara kills it when it comes to this sort of pattern. If you've not seen it, get onto the Zara website. They've got every pattern and colour going. Um, like I say, this one's from, I think it's Stradivarius. Yeah, it's Stradivarius. And it's just this beautiful sort of lime green, blue, pale blue. And it's got some yellows in here, crop top. Flipping love this, I can't wait to wear it. I feel like this is just such a cute piece to have in the wardrobe. It's probably gonna come out time and time again as well because it's just a crop top. Um, but what I had in mind for this, now, just, just bear with me because you know I hate shorts. I don't wear denim shorts at all. I think I own one pair of denim shorts and the only reason I bought them is because I was going on holiday. Um, and I tried them on the other day and they didn't look too bad so I was thinking to myself I feel like this with a nice pair of light denim Levi shorts or any denim shorts to be honest would look so cute and you could wear this however you wanted you could even grab some like strappy um lilac sandals like a lavender lilac sandal that would look really nice or of course you could go for yellow blue or green and match it um or white oh this would look really cute with some white jeans in summer or some white or neutral sorry wide leg trousers basically this can go with anything it can go with anything but i feel like when i look at this top i just it just looks really fresh very summery um, and yeah, I can't wait to style this piece up. I love it even more. Weirdly enough, usually when I film my hauls, I've actually already tried all of these things on, but I haven't this time. So I can't tell you how things fit or anything, but I'll leave as much information down in the description bar below. This feels like it's gonna fit. I actually picked it up in a large, um, Oh yeah, I picked it up in a large because the medium had sold out and I really, really wanted it. So I'm hoping that this does fit because it's not a la it's not like um, 
what to call it, adjustable or anything. So I'm praying that this fits, fingers crossed. Okay, so another sort of bright floral thing. This is very sort of 90s hippie like kind of thing. I mean that in the nicest way, but it's just so beautiful. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I've never owned anything like this in my wardrobe very different. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to look on. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. I hope I do, but it's very different for me. Um, it's an alternate, a halterneck uh, dress, as you can see here. It's very, very low cut. And then at the back, it's completely backless, as you can see here. I think it goes like this. I've got a feeling it might not. I've got a funny feeling that it actually ties around the waist as well. I'm not sure, but you will see it on the try-on. Um, this is an ASOS design. I picked this up in a size 12. Um, but yeah, I love it. I feel like this is so cute for, for summer. Um, and I feel like you could wear this however you wanted. You could wear it with heels, some white mule heels, or you could wear it with sandals. You could dress it up or down. It completely depends on the occasion. But again, it was just something that I've never owned and I thought it could be quite cute. I am very much of a floral sort of dress person when it comes to uh, summer. So I'm going to try this on and I'm going to see... <laughs> how I like it. I'm, I'm very 50-50 on it at the moment. It looks cute, but I don't know if it's going to look cute on me. We shall see. Right, okay, so the next thing that I'm going to show you, we're going back. We're going back to usual me, which is very much neutral. I love neutral. It's honestly a newfound love for me. I love it. And I love this top even more. And this is a neutral top, and it's going to be very difficult for me to show you on camera. Oh, because it was very difficult to even put it on a bloody hanger. Um, but as you can see, I've actually... Oh, that might be why I put it on the complete wrong way round. But this is a bodysuit. And it's actually in the most amazing material. I don't know what this material is, but it is so, so soft. I love it. I didn't know it was a bodysuit until I received it. But I feel like this is just... Uh, an absolute perfect must have when it comes to summer because it's just the perfect color it's nice and neutral and um, as you can see here it is a one shoulder top and it's got like a rope sort of detail in here so I feel like this will look really cute in summer you could wear it with whatever you wanted but I feel like it would look really nice with denim and um, this would be nice you know if you're going for um, cocktails or something like that this would be really nice to pair with some denim jeans or something like that or you could go all neutral um and put oh, or you could wear it with white it's completely your choice it's just such a versatile color um but it's not something i have in my wardrobe but i feel like it's one of those things that you would have for a very long time and it's also a piece that will go with absolutely anything and everything um now let's see this is asos design again and i picked this up in a size it's saying eight apparently i picked it up in an eight and i don't know why <laughs> but we'll see if it fits but i picked this up in a size eight it is very very stretching so it should be fine actually um but yeah i really love this i love the material but you know because the material is kind of it's like it's i can't say it's fluffy but it's like and it's not knit i don't know what you call it but you could actually wear this when it comes to autumn as well uh with like a nice blazer over the top um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I think it was the the sort of one shoulder rope detail that caught me um, by surprise, actually. That yeah. So I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this one back on the hanger, but we're just gonna leave it like this for now. When I was uh, when I saw this top, I also um, saw these trousers, and I thought this would look really nice paired together. But you can of course wear these on their own as well. But these are just some neutral. Um, beige wide leg dad trousers I think these are um, which I love I love dad trousers wide leg trousers I love it I've just picked up some really nice black ones from H&M and I've been wanting some of these for ages because I saw Zara did some and everyone's got them and they're out of stock um, but these are very very similar ASOS design again and I picked these up in a size 12 um, but yeah I feel like these are really cute I think they'll you could wear these as well all year round um, maybe not winter but I definitely wear these in autumn because it's that sort of darker beige color you could bring it in with like a nice black bodysuit or something like that and um, but if you can see closely it's just this checked sort of pattern and it's got blue and white running through it I feel like you could wear this with that top or I feel
feel like a nice white crop top and some white sandals would look nice but alternatively if you wanted to style it down maybe like a white racer top and some white trainers would look really nice with it as well very versatile they do look kind of big though so we'll see what they're like when they're on uh, they have pockets which is good and these were actually a bargain i can't remember how much they were i think there was like 30 pounds or something um but for like the sort of style and everything i feel like these are a bargain because if you go on zara they're a little bit more pricier than this um but yeah i love these they're a little bit different as well i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe um yeah definitely don't have anything of this color in my wardrobe so i'm really excited to try these on let me know down in the comments which one is your favorites because i feel like i took a little bit of a risk with all of these things other than this neutral bodysuit because that's kind of like you can't really go wrong but with the other ones i just feel like does it suit me like i don't know am i being a bit brave i don't know um the other thing let me grab it i've been after some of these shoes for so long and when i tell you i think everywhere has sold out of these because everyone and their mom wants some so these are some sandals and they oh they've got like a little a little dust bag this is cute um let me actually get them out this is first impressions guys this is first impressions um so let me pull these bad boys out i think you can already probably guess what kind of sandals these are because everyone's wearing them they are bloody marmite let me tell you that one because when i first saw these sandals when they first come on trend i was like no they are awful like who the hell would want to wear them and then here one is buying them so clearly me i am i'm the person that would wear them so these are chunky sandals, chunky platform sandals. Now the funny thing is these aren't actually the biggest ones you could find. The ones that I really wanted are sold out on ASOS and I love them so much. They are in this beautiful coral peach colour and they're sold out. And when I tell you the platform is big, <laughs> I really can't wait. I can't wait for them to come back in stock. I hope they come back in stock. But these are a great alternative if you don't want to wear heels in the day like if you don't want to wear heels then you can opt for a platform sandal i know these are called ugly sandals because they are very ugly but almost ugly enough for me to like them i don't know this is crazy but yes some black sort of platform sandals i love them honestly I can't wait to wear them. I've not put them on yet. Now, the only thing is that I'm worried about with these is that at the front here, you can see they've got this plastic detailing. And I don't know if that is going to rub or is going to hurt me, especially in summer, like your feet get hot, like they expand. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I, I am worried about that because the last time I bought some like this from pretty little thing they were mule heels had to send them back because this was so uncomfortable um so i'm gonna try these on i'll let you guys know if they are really uncomfortable because there are so many of these around so you could definitely pick some up from anywhere if they have the stock um but yeah i'm so excited honestly i've been wanting some for ages um but yeah, if they don't, if they don't, I'll make sure I list loads of alternatives down in the description bar below. They can come up quite expensive though, guys. Like I feel like they know it's a trend, so they've put the prices up. Like sandals are usually at like what, 20 pounds or something like that. Like you can pay like 60 pounds easily, 70 pounds easily for a pair of sandals, which is crazy. Um, but yeah love or hate relationship what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below do you love or hate ugly sandals i want to know okay so the final thing that i picked up from asos which is so random so random but i see these everywhere like when i'm on instagram like i feel like they look so cute i don't actually have anything like this and you guys are probably thinking cohen please it's just a bag but i picked up these bags from asos obviously <laughs> obviously so yeah these bags are just basically plain sort of cotton bags and i love this one because it's got three sort of different 
neutrals which like I say is my colour so you've got this sort of chocolate neutral here you've got like a baby pinkish but it's got a neutral undertone and then you've got a cream one here I just think these are so handy to have because the amount of times that I nip to the shop and buy plastic bags is actually annoying but also I'm seeing on Instagram and on Pinterest and things like that people are actually styling them up as sort of handbags they look really cute and um, yeah I just I, I don't know why I just like the aesthetic of it um, and it's the cheapest handbag that I've ever bought let me tell you that one these were only £10 for free um, so yeah perfect like I said perfect for summer because you know you're going to be when it comes to summer you're usually out all day um, so you could put anything in there if you're going for like picnics you can put food in there you could put drinks in there you could put a spare pair of heels or sandals or flats in there as well so yeah but also they look really cute because they're in those sort of neutral tones so yeah I decided to pick some of them up as well but I think that is everything guys okay guys well that is the end of today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it I enjoyed filming my monthly the ASOS haul. I only got a few bits but it's because I've been spending quite a bit in, in H&M and I've also got a Primark haul coming for you as well so I can't wait for you guys to see those pieces as well. Like I said let me know in the comments down below which piece is your favourite I would like to know and before you go don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe guys if you're not already subscribed it would mean so so much to me. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next one. Mwah. Bye guys! But welcome to my channel guys i hope you're doing really well. i feel like i've already said that probably already have and it's a little bit what um, i just picked up a couple of things from asof <laughs>